As we head into the holiday season, there are many things we should all be thankful for, and that includes this week's On the Road, where we get a lesson in what's truly important. Here is CBS's Steve Hartman. Meet the students at Buffalo Creek Academy in Buffalo, New York. And if you're wondering why the focus on the footwear, it's because that's what the kids do. When you come to school, people look at your shoes before they even look at your face. <laughs> Dean of Culture Bryant Brown says at Buffalo Creek, like at many schools across the country, the more expensive the sneakers, the more elevated the status. And conversely, if you don't have fancy shoes, it feels bad. You can be picked on. You can't do nothing about it. Melvin Anderson is in seventh grade. He was getting teased for wearing worn out shoes until one day he showed up in Mr. Brown's glass with a bright orange box. And I asked him who purchased the sneakers and he said Romello. And I was taken back a little bit and I was shocked. Shocked because Romello early is another kid in the class. Romello says it really bothered him seeing Melvin bullied so much so that one day he came home in tears and waited for his mother. When she got home, I said, Mom, you could take away anything you get me for Christmas, or uh, you could take my allowance. I just want to get him some shoes. Why did this bother you so? Because nobody deserves to get put down based off a pair of shoes that he's going to eventually grow out of. So Romello scraped together $135. It was his life savings. But he has no regrets. It made me feel happy to see that big smile on his face. Was there a big smile? Yeah. Cool. You... Romello says his next goal is to convince fellow classmates that shoes were made for walking, not dividing and diminishing, which is music to the ears of Mr. Brown. It means everything to have mellow hair. Just being a good you know, role model is going to be infectious, you know, for sure. What started with a single pair of sneakers may now heal the soul of an entire school. Steve Hartman on the road in Buffalo. <laughs>